Hello everybody, I'm Warner Chavez, SQL Server Certified Master with SQLTurbo.com and today we're going to do a quick video of uh, the new Power BI preview that Microsoft is pushing out right now. Uh, right now it's limited to the United States only but it's going to expand to more territories as uh, 2015 rolls along and I think it's a very interesting take on self-service BI and uh, you know what Microsoft calls BI for the masses. So I'm going to do a quick demo. Um, just want to show everybody what the service looks like right now. And we're just going to start with um, building very quickly a model on Excel just to give everybody that is completely unfamiliar with the MIAI story from Microsoft uh, an idea of the current capabilities you can get with Excel, right? So Microsoft has been really putting a lot of features into Excel and it's very interesting that now we can even do uh, the data modeling for example through Power Query and Power Pivot inside Excel properly. So let's uh, let's do that. Let's uh, let's do a test here. We're just gonna go to Power Query and then we're just gonna go here to the workbook queries and right now I don't have any queries on my workbook so I can start pulling in uh, from different sources so I have like an online search I have um, import data from a web page I can import from different uh, file formats I can import from all these different types of databases I can import from Azure obviously and we even have a lot of other uh, different type of sources like SharePoint uh, directly from HDFS, Active Directory, Exchange, Facebook, uh, Salesforce. Salesforce is uh, one that they actually demoed at WPC uh, last year. Uh, ODBC, blank queries, and whatnot. Okay, so um, in this case I'm gonna have to uh, try it out with two sources. So I'm gonna show you guys, uh, first source is gonna be a SQL Server database. And this is a database that I already have uh, running on my uh, laptop as a VM. I'm just going to specify name and port and I'm going to give it the database. I'm going to say yes. Uh, and I'm going to specify a SQL login because I don't have a domain between my VM and my laptop. Now it's going to give me a warning it doesn't support encryption but if I want to connect, continue I'm just going to say it's fine, I don't care. Now you guys can see it pops up a navigator here and I can see all the tables inside this uh, last FM dataset database. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to, uh, for example, I can go and mouse over and get a preview of the data. You guys check that out. So what I'm going to do now is basically you can go in and do edit down here and it will actually open a full-blown Power Query um, window where you can do transformations, add some columns, and uh, you could even throw in some DAX, I believe, on the calculated columns. But it's still very, very user-friendly. So in this case, what I have some some user IDs, uh, some artists, and the amount of times that these users have played uh, tracks from these artists and, and I like how this one looks already so I'm just going to close and load it um, to a data model so I'm going to pick here only create a connection and add this to the data model inside the Excel workbook and it's going to start loading there you guys can see it's uh, it's very fast uh, in consuming records as opposed to just regular Excel right this is the VertiPack engine so it's already read uh, like a million records and 800,000 um, and it's put it into the data model basically what it does is like you know kinda like the column story indexes inside SQL Server it takes them all it's gonna compress them really good and uh, it provides really good performance uh, for consuming all this data and it's done now so now we have 1.8 right here very cool so and uh, we're gonna just use that source again so I'm gonna use it again go back to navigator and now we're going to want I want to see the user details so let's let's edit that one as well now here the interesting thing there's a couple of things that I want to do just to show some really basic transformations that we can do for example on the gender um let's see I want to transform this because right now it just says f and m and it's not going to look really nice uh when we actually do a reporting so very simply I'm just going to find f I replace with female and I want to match the entire cell contents. 
Okay, and then I will do it again. And I'm just going to match M, replace with male. And I want to match the entire cell contents. And that's it. And now, for example, for the sign up string, this is a, a string based on the date and year. Um, but maybe I'm going to want to report on something with a little bit more granularity. So I can do something really easy here. I can just duplicate. Actually, first we have to see that the data type of um, this column is as text. I want to treat them as dates so I can extract the year and the month from them. I can easily change that here if you guys can see. And now it actually has verified that the data type is a date. Now I can duplicate it. And once it's duplicated, I can just transform it and transform, for example, pick and make it just a date. And then we can just rename the column as well. Rename, I think it's around here. There we go. And now we can just call this a year. Very cool. Now we can duplicate this one again. And this one we're going to extract the month. All right. And now we're going to rename it as well and just call it a month. Okay. So as you guys can see, we did some a uh, couple of date transformations. We did some content transformation here, and the rest looks good. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna load it into my data model. So I don't want it to create a table in Excel. So I'm gonna work directly on the data model. And I'm just gonna load that right out, and it's gonna start the import as well. As you guys can see, it's hundreds of thousands of records. We'll wait for it to be done. Now the cool thing about uh, Excel and Power Query in general is that it's really easy to mash up data from very different sources, right? So we're talking this one's our SQL servers. Uh, they were coming from SQL server tables. Now I'm going to do an Azure um, database. So I already had that one here as one of the, my recent sources. I can just click on it. And it's going to go and connect to my database in the cloud on Azure. And as you guys can see, I have a list here of artist rates. And what I do here is I have an artist ID, I have an artist name, and I have the rate they charge. Okay? So, very simple. Um, I'm just going to go in and import this data and add it to the data model as well as is. This one I'm not going to transform. So, I just select it here. I can do the same thing, load to pick only create connection and add it to the data model and that one will just be around 600 records and uh, that it has to pull from the Azure database and that's it so now that it's loaded we can actually use the power pivot part which is really cool and go to manage and we can actually see our data model or what we have loaded into the data model I like the diagram view because it really gives that uh, modeling type of experience and then the other cool part, of course, is that once we have this, we can actually build relationships on it, right? So we can say, for example, um, the user ID is related to this user ID. We'll wait for, um, for it to establish that relationship. And then it's going to show up on the diagram as well, so you can see. And then another relationship here is the artist here in user artist place is the same as the artist name as well in the artist rates. So I can drag that here. And just like that, now we have two relationships here, right? We have this one and we have this other one as well. And that's it. That's all you need to do uh, to create a data model. And the cool thing now is that I can save this workbook and then import it into the Power BI service. Now, I already did that, so I'm not going to do it again. Just in the interest of time, I'll show you guys what that looks like. So this is the new Power BI service. As you guys can see, it has dashboards here on the side, different reports that you created. Uh, it comes with a sample for retail analysis. And here's the data set that I just uh, imported from that Excel file. So I just uploaded the Excel file, and then immediately it can read you know that I have the artist rates inside the data model. I have the 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 artists that are being played by users, and I have the details on users as well. And then I can do you know very easily create a report. For example, if I want to see um, what what are the common uh, the most common ages of my user base, so I can just you know click age, 
and then let's say I want h to be the axis and now the value I want to be the user IDs and just count my user IDs so immediately we can see that you know the 20 year old crowd is a huge user of my music servers right right away I can see that and if I want to see it in a very different way I can pick here from all the different visualizations so let's say I want to see that as a, a tree map for example and then immediately it just changes to uh, the other type of visualization and I can make it bigger I can make it slower um, I can make it smaller and you guys can see it's 20, 21 different ages and the nice thing about this as well obviously is that they are all uh, linked so all the graphs are linked so if I click again and then I let's say I want to make a graph about the gender and I want to see how many users I have that are male and how many are females so you guys can see I already have this right here and I have males and I have the females. So I can see I have 117,000 female users and I have 240,000 male users. So the male users actually are more than double of the female users. So if I'm doing, let's say, like a campaign, maybe I should start thinking about how to invest or increase my female audience. And like I said, this is all linked. So I can click on female and the tree map automatically uh, will get filtered out. Okay. The other really cool thing about this, for example, is if I go back, um, I'm not going to save this, I'll go back to the dashboard, you guys can see at a glance I have some of the key numbers that I want about my service, some of the key stats as well, and I can go in and even do the Q&A uh, for this uh, data set about music that I just uploaded. So I can say, for example, what is the country with the most users there we go and uh, you can see well the United States is actually the country with the most users then the UK Germany Poland Russian Federation and just like that you know uh, Q&A has answered the question I had or I can ask for example uh, how many females in the United States and let that answer and we can see count of uh, we have 24,000 females that are using um, the service in the United States it's just like that it comes back um, with the number so very powerful uh, Q&A uh, because you don't really have to sit down and try to you know dig through the data if there's a way that you can express it and let uh, the service figure it out then immediately you can see that right and you can say for example other things like for um, there are in the data say like okay what's the average age in Mexico okay so now we see the average age of our user in Mexico is 24 point uh, 65 years so and just like that like I said you don't have to go fishing for it on the graphs or anything the Q&A is a very powerful feature as well now go back to the dashboard uh, something that I'm not going to show here but it's very uh, cool is that there's also a native uh, mobile experience um, for Power BI it's uh, on the iPad or the iPhone and on the iPhone even you can for example click on a particular tile that has a number and you can set an alert and put a threshold on it so for example here where my total licensing cost is 70 million I can go on the iPhone and create an alert where if my licensing cost ever goes over 75 a million then to send me a notification to my phone so very 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 cool uh, very easy to use the service like I showed it's just um, doesn't take a lot of effort it doesn't require a hardcore BI pro to make something that you know is useful right away so that was uh, that was my quick demo for today let's go let's do a recap on uh, the service so it's a very interesting take on self-service BI because again I think it's really, really lowering the barrier of entry for somebody to call themselves a BI user it has a lot of potential because Excel is basically installed on every 
working laptop in an office in the world really um, the visualizations are really easy to make but it's still lacking more advanced ones so it doesn't have things like heat maps for example it doesn't have embedded charts so for example I can't have let's say like a spark line inside a table those we you can't still do uh, with Power BI but I'm sure as the service um, evolves will have more and more advanced type of visualizations um, it is definitely a preview so a lot of the enterprise features are not active yet like the data management gateway um, so the data management gateway allows you to connect and pull data from the Power BI workbooks um, from on-premise uh, data sources basically so right now in the preview that's not enabled right now you have to load the data while it's while you're working on-premise and then upload the workbook with the data uh, up to the Power BI service, but obviously before going into production, uh, it's going to be enabled on the preview um, that you'll be able to use the data management gateway. Um, and then finally, it's a standalone service because before the Power BI sites was really just uh, like an application inside SharePoint Online. So it required an Office 365 subscription with the SharePoint Online, and then you got Power BI. Now it's a completely standalone service, and it's going to be uh, a, there's uh, a version that's going to be free, and it's just going to be limited to one gig uh, of data that each user can have. But other than that, you can test out the service with the free version, and then the pro version is going to be uh, 9.99 US dollars per user, which I think is a really good uh, value considering you know all the capabilities you have with the mobile with the refreshing uh, with the collaboration and just the the ease of use to create dashboards um, and then the other thing the other thing that's very important is it has a standalone designer now as well I didn't show this I might do another video showing the power BI designer but for now uh, just know that you don't even require Excel anymore they have created a power BI designer that's completely standalone for creating uh, the data model, creating the visualizations, and then you can upload it to the actual Power BI site. Okay, so until next time, uh, stay tuned and we'll have more material as uh, the service develops on 2015. Thank you.